We are almost ready to begin our streamline analysis, in which we put seeds at random locations along the boundary between the gray matter and the white matter. A streamline will grow from each seed and trace a path from that seed region until it terminates in another region. We need to first convert the anatomical image to MRTrix format. Just as in the previous tutorials, we will use the mrconvert command to convert the anatomical image in the NAT directory to a file in the current directory called t1.mif. We will then use the command 5ttgen to segment the anatomical image into five different tissue classes. This will take a while, about 10 to 15 minutes. If the segmentation has finished successfully, you can look at it in MRView by typing MRView 5TT no co reg. Press the left and right arrow keys to see the different tissue types such as gray matter, white matter, and CSF. Our next step is to co-register the anatomical and diffusion weighted images. This ensures that the boundary of the gray matter is aligned with the diffusion weighted image. First, we will use the commands DWI extract and MRMath to average together the B0 images from the diffusion data. These are the images that look most like the T2 weighted functional scans, since a diffusion gradient wasn't applied during their acquisition. There are two parts to this command separated by a pipe. The left half of the command, DWI extract, takes the pre-processed diffusion weighted image as an input and the B0 option extracts the B0 images. The dash indicates that the output should be used as input for the second part of the command, to the right of the pipe. MRMath then takes these output B0 images and computes the mean along the third axis or the time dimension. In other words, it averages across all of the volumes in that dataset. In order to carry out the co-registration between the diffusion and anatomical images, we will need to take a brief detour outside of MRTrix. Although you can choose any software package you want, we will focus here on FSL and its flirt command. The first step is to convert both the segmented anatomical image and the BNOT images that we just extracted using the mrconvert command. Since Flirt works with a single 3D image, we will use FSL ROI to extract the first volume of the segmented dataset, which corresponds to the gray matter segmentation. We then use the Flirt command to co-register the two datasets. And here's what the command looks like. This command uses the gray matter segmentation, 5TT vol 0nii as the reference image meaning that it remains stationary. The averaged B0 images are then moved to find the best fit with the gray matter segmentation. The output of this command, diff to struct fsl.mat, contains the transformation matrix that was used to overlay the diffusion image on top of the gray matter segmentation. Now that we have generated our first transformation matrix, we will need to convert it into a format that can be read by MRTrix using the command transform convert. This command takes the transformation matrix we just created using FSL and then does the co-registration between the B0 and the 5TT no co-reg images to generate a transformation matrix that can be read by MRTrix and we'll call the output diff to struct mrtrix.txt. Since we already have the steps to transform the diffusion image to the anatomical image, we can take the inverse of the transformation matrix to do the opposite. That is, we will co-register the anatomical image to the diffusion image. This command takes the 5TD image that hasn't been co-registered yet, and then applies the inverse of the diff to struct transformation matrix to create a new file called 5TT coreg.mif. This file can then be loaded into MRView in order to examine the quality of the co-registration. The overlay color map options specify different color codes for each image that is loaded. In this case, the boundaries before co-registration will be depicted in blue, symbolized by the number two. 
and the boundaries after co-registration will be shown in red, indicated by the number 1. Make sure to check the boundaries in all three views. You can also use the Tool Overlay menu to display or hide the different overlays, as well as change the opacity of the currently selected figure. Take a moment to examine the alignment between the gray matter of the overlay images and the gray matter of the underlying diffusion weighted image, although that may be a little hard to identify in that particular modality. In some cases, you may find that the co-registration from Flirt does slightly worse or is a little bit off in some places as compared to the initial registration before you applied Flirt. In other cases, it may work very well and fix some misalignments. In either case, you need to examine it carefully and make the choice for yourself. The last step is to create the seed boundary. The boundary separating the gray from the white matter, which we will use to create the seeds for our streamlines. This is created with the command 5TT to GMWMI, which stands for 5 Tissue Type to Gray Matter White Matter Interface. All it requires is the co registered diffusion weighted image as input and an output, which we will call GMWM Seed Co Reg. Again, we will check the results with MRView to make sure the interface is where we think it should be. Now that we have determined where the boundary is between the gray matter and the white matter, we are ready to begin generating streamlines in order to reconstruct the major white matter pathways of the brain. We will see how to do that in the next video.